welcome back to Xpop channel. Myself Rakesh and in our UI path certification preparation, we are going to attend one more question and we are going to see entire detail. I hope you have already started following the UI path certification playlist where I'm going to place all the conceptual co contents that you should know before appearing for the exam. Let's get started and understand one of the questions. The question here is, after finishing development, a developer observes in UAT, what is UAT? User Acceptance Testing, that a selector corresponding to a UI element within an application has changed. So if any element, any UI element changes or some changes has been made to the user interface element, what would happen? Your automation would definitely fail because the selectors will change. This breaks the automation and the automation fails, ex fails to execute as expected. Fine. Based, so the look at the question. Based on, that is the situation and this is the question. Based on UiPath recommendation, what is the correct sequence of steps the developer should take to debug the error and remedy the issue? So debug the error is the topic. So it is coming from debugging the topic. Now, what are the steps? What is the sequence you will follow? So these are a couple of uh, options they have given and you have to select in right order. This is will not be of any use until unless you know the proper debugging process. Okay, so let's understand that first. Then we will come back here and try to answer this question. So to create the situation, what I am doing, I am using the rpachallenge.com and I am trying to type the first name and last name. And I'm going to create some situation so that it fails typing the last name. Okay, that is what we are going to do. So here, first activity that I've used is use application browser activity. And I've indicated that to open the rpchallenge.com on this page I've indicated. And inside that, I have used a type into activity. And in the type into activity, again, I've indicated to type the first name. I've indicated to this field and is going to type the first name as Rakesh and I have used another activity type into activity and indicated to the last name. So it is going to type it here. So as a developer, you, what you will do, you will run it and you will find, okay, everything is working perfectly fine. So the execution should start. Okay. So you can see it has typed Rakesh and Kumar. Okay. So it has typed everything properly. So now you are confident. Now you will be sharing this project file. To your test testing team right so the, during the user acceptance testing imagine i want this to fail while typing the last name now how will you create that situation how would you create that situation manually so what i'm going to do i'll go to the target selection and here whatever the selectors has been selected automatically i'm going to remove all of them so if i remove what would happen so that particular activity would definitely fail, right? And here, one more important thing, targeting method. Okay, even after you remove all the uh, selectors, it will still work based on the image. So ensure you select it to none. Very, very important, okay, for it to fail. Now, uh, wherever the selectors are there, I'm just trying to remove it. Okay. And uh, let's remove even this. Delete. Okay. So I'm removing, I'm trying to clear it. Targeting method for offset, do not touch anything on this. Only for the top one we have done and we have made it to none, okay? Only for the top one, for the anchor. Rest you leave it. Now, what would happen when your testing friend is going to run this, right? When the testing team is going to run this, the first name would work properly. So we are just creating the situation as mentioned on the question. Now for the last name, see, it is not typing. So what exactly it is doing? It is waiting for 30 seconds, right? For, the, for that activity, it will wait for 30 seconds. That is the uh, timeout. So if it does not find that element within the next 30 seconds, it is going to throw an error. Now the error has popped out. What is the error? Type into last name. Could not find the user interface. So this is the error, error has popped out. Now let's go back to the question. So here there are a couple of options been given. So out of this option, 
look at this option check the logs for the error location and navigate it to the activity with exception so first thing when a error occurs the first thing you should do is check the log now your testing team would say your project has failed there are so many errors so when you run it you would also find there is an error now what i will do i will do control plus l and i will open the log location okay and once i open the log location i would go to the execution file so today's time execution file open that file and look at your system time so right now i will scroll down okay and uh, look at the timing so 352 okay exactly it's 352 um so i would look for that error so 352 there is a time stamp there is a 352 look at this there is a error here right first thing what i am doing i am going to the log file location and i am trying to check the error so here is the error message type into last name this is where the error has appeared so what is this type into last name this is the activity name type into last name automatically it has typed it so this is where the problem has occurred could not find the user interface of the ui element for the action so this is what the exactly error message is all about uh, possible solution it is also recommending you certain solutions okay so what are the solution ensure application is open and the ui element is visible on the screen at execution time okay so uh, in our case yes it was visible now the second option edit the target of the ui activity so it is talking about edit the selectors and use validation to debug the issue so you are you know to validate uh, use the validation to debug the issue if needed reindicate the element another solution they have given if required reindicate the element as its properties might have changed okay so look at this with the error when i am going to the execution tab with the error it is also recommending you solution for that error okay or also it is also telling increase delay before uh, value to allow the time to even you can apply delay before so that it will allow the activity a uh, time to the application to render the entirely i mean for it to appear entirely and become responsive okay so these are the various options they have given okay Where, with the error message they have also given the solution so based on this what you will do first step you want to the log activity and check the error message and you understood from where this error is coming now as a quick step what i will do how do i fix this i will try to reindicate this is also one of the possible solution they have given right so i'll reindicate the element so by reindicating all the anchor all everything will get up to date and hit on confirm right so now it is fixed so once you have fixed what is the next step you will do let's go back to the question so i have done this what is the next step the next thing that i should do is so next thing i have done is update the selector causing the exception to make it more dynamic and robust so i have done it automatically it has done for me the modern activity has those facilities all i have to do is reindicate it has automatically updated all my selectors okay so that is fine so this is the second step we have done what is the third step you will do validate the selector and add a break point at the activity okay so you have validated all the selectors so if you go uh, to the selector this is the selector window it's validated if you click on validate it has validated everything is fine then for this activity i will add a break point in the debug window i will add a break point why i am adding a break point at this activity because this is the activity which has failed so i want to test it and see if it is executing properly or not i want it to pause at that activity during the debug so i will apply a break activity what is the last thing i will do run in debug mode run in debug mode to ensure the process runs without the exception so what i will do i'll go to the debug mode and i'm going to run it in the debug mode and i will see if it is going to you know work so let me delete all these values okay so what would happen the execution has started okay so first name it went to the first name let's see okay it has typed the first name now it went to the last name and paused breakpoint is all about pausing it for that activity now let's continue and see if this is working or not okay so it has 
typed in the comma so everything is working perfectly fine so if you try to read the question again so this is the right step that i should select first thing i will check the logs for the error location and navigate to the activity with the exception we have done it update the selector causing we have done it then the third thing validate the selector we have done it and add a breakpoint at that activity the fourth step is a run in debug mode to ensure the process runs this will be our last step okay so this is the right set of answer that you should do but looking at the example you must have understood why it is right okay why this sequence is right we cannot run debug first right we cannot without understanding the log we don't want to valid uh, make changes to the selector so this is the right sequence of steps all right guys so thank you so much for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents which is going to really give you deep knowledge because the deep knowledge is is required for you to attend the in, uh, certification you won't get the same question you will get a varieties of questions around the topic so having a proper deep knowledge would help you answering any kind of a question comes on that topic thank you guys take care bye bye